Hello right, guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a good Saturday afternoon. Boy, is it hot. Oh my god. It is like too hot. I wanted to do work. But I just, uh, it was too, it's just too hot. It's too hot in my flat. Um, I had the windows open and everything, and I was still too hot. I felt drained. Um, but like it was God telling me, you're not meant to do your work right now for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, that's what I honestly felt. Um, yeah, I went out in a, for a bit earlier. Um, very hot and um, nice day, but too hot. Um, yeah, um, I did add a pizza today, which ain't very good. Um, do you know what I mean? Like for the old... Uh, waistline and that it's not very good it was only a supermarket pizza so it weren't as bad in that sense but um but yeah um I had a pizza but the good news is even though i had a pizza i worked out after and i mean i really worked out like um i was dancing and yeah i danced i danced quite a lot um a few times till the point of exhaustion so so as much as I put it on, I think I've probably burnt it off or at least, um, yeah, I definitely sweated a bit, that's for sure. Um, I've noticed when I exercise, it it makes, it does make you look younger, I've noticed this, um, especially when you're intensive exercise, um, like intensive cardio. Um, uh, like it, it how it, I think it makes you look younger. Um, this is what I found. Um, like I say, after I done that, um, I don't know whether it's in my mind. I don't know if it's in my mind or not. But I honestly feel like I looked at myself in the mirror after I done that exercise, and I thought I actually look a bit younger than what I did before. Um, it's a really did intensive. I must have I must have danced about three or four times to the point of exhaustion. So look, I had a good dance, you know what I mean? I had a good, uh, probably about, about three times, I reckon, to the point of exhaustion, which is um, like sweating, you know what I mean? Pretty much, um, so I had a good, I had a good workout, that's all I can say, um, and uh, I needed it after that pizza though, so yeah. Um, but funnily enough, something popped up on my YouTube saying you will look younger. Something popped up saying that, which is a bit weird considering what I said. Look, um, I thought I noticed after I'd done that intensive exercise, I looked in the mirror and I thought I look a bit younger, sort of thing. So, yeah, um, a bit strange, really, how that popped up on my YouTube as well. Um, saying you will look younger, like some video. Um, so yeah, a bit strange, um, after I thought that, like, but, um, yeah, could be coincidence, could not be, I don't know, but, um, yeah, uh, what else to say, guys, I want to do a scripture, um, but yeah, I just hope you're all having a good day, uh, whatever it is you're doing, and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna start incorporating the dancing into my daily routine from now on, I want to, uh, like I said, I want to be the best version of myself I can be, and, yeah, um, I think the dancing is a good, it's good to keep your fitness, get get your fitness levels up, look my heart was proper pumping after that, um, after that workout, it was really pumping, my heart was, so, um, I know it was a good workout, um, and I was sweating, I'm still, I'm still actually sweating a bit now, um, <laughs> even though I've had the break for a bit, so that just shows you how how intensive the exercise was, so yeah, um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, let's go over a scripture anyway, guys, um, but yeah, the dancing's definitely going to be incorporated into my, uh, daily routine from now on, same as sit-ups, um, I didn't do any sit-ups today, but, but yeah, I might do some tonight, but I'd, like I said, I've done the dancing anyway, so, but yeah, that's what I'm going to start incorporating into my, daily routine, dancing and sit-ups, um, and hopefully I can get, get a bit, looking a bit healthier, that's all I can say, or a bit, 
yeah lose a bit of the weight kind of thing so so yeah um that's my that's my plan anyway we'll see how it goes but yeah um but i'm i'm quite committed to it now i am quite committed to it so don't be surprised if in a few months you notice well can't say for sure i don't want to say that because life can get busy do you know what i mean and things can pop up and stuff so um i don't want to say that for sure but but yeah that's my plan to make it a regular thing um if i can so yeah um but yeah anyway guys uh where where we what did i want to switch did i want to go over is it second corinthians i'm sure it was yeah second corinthians and uh it's um Let's go over this awaiting the new body and the ministry of reconciliation. Um, it says, uh, For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God. An eternal house in heaven, not built by human hand, not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, because when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. For for while we are in this tent, we groan and are bur burdened, because we do not wish to be to be a uh, unclothed but to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life now the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is god who has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come therefore we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body we are away from the lord For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So we make it our goal to please him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each of us may receive what is due to us for the good things done while in the body, whether good or bad. Mm, interesting. That's an interesting scripture. Um, the ministry of reconciliation. Since then, we know what it is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others. What we are, what we are is plain to God, and I hope it is also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than in what so that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, as some say, it is for God. If we are if we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us because we, this is interesting as well, are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves but for him who died for them and was raised again. So from now on we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was, recon that God was reconciled that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed us and he's committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. 
we implore you to cross no we implore you on cross behalf be reconciled to god god made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of god that's it guys that's the scripture um find it interesting both of those scriptures made me think to be honest for different reasons um yeah i guess sometimes yeah like making me think for sure <laughs> it's hard to know what to think sometimes but the bible never lies do you know what i mean the bible's always uh accurate and true so yeah um maybe i've uh I don't know, maybe I don't always get things right, do you know what I mean? This is one of the things, um, judging by that, um, this is just for myself, like, um, this is just for myself, um, yeah. But who does, I guess, do you know what I mean? When they're not perfect, no one gets it right all the time. The only person that got it right all the time was Jesus, do you know what I mean? And those are big shoes to fill, I don't think anyone will ever fill their shoes, so... So yeah, um, sorry for my sin, Lord. Uh, sorry for, I guess, disobedience at times. Um, falling into disobedience. So yeah, um, <sighs> yeah. Very hard to know what to think sometimes. The devil's trying to lead you down one one way, and God's trying to lead you down another, and you don't always know which is which. This is what I found. The devil poses as an as an angel of light, and uh, yeah, and some things you hear, you think are from God. Do you know what I mean? Because it sounds like it's from God, but maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It's it's confusing but you're probably thinking i'm chatting a load of gobbledygook and to everyone else it will be but to me it makes sense <laughs> that's all i can say to me it makes sense but to everyone else it's gobbledygook but yeah i'm just talking thinking out loud but i probably shouldn't because everyone will wonder what's wrong with me and what i'm talking about so yeah um but yeah it's just my own personal kind of relationship with god so so yeah um but anyway, guys, that's the scripture. Um, I can't even remember what scripture it was now. Um, is it Second Corinthians? Let's have a look. Just so I can give you guys a reference. Um, I think it was Second Corinthians. I think it was. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I think it. I think it. Um. Mm. Very interesting. God, God's interesting. That's for sure. Um. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, it's Second Corinthians chapter five, and it's awaiting the new body, and uh, the ministry of reconciliation. So. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the scriptures. So, so yeah, um, that's all I can say really for now. Um, that's all I can say for now. Um, yeah, maybe I need to start being more obedient to God in some ways. Um. This is just what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling like it's putting on my heart. I was, but I kind of shifted my mindset along the way somehow. Um, I don't think that was the best thing to... Well, I can't say. It, it was the wrong thing to do, do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. Um, 
Definitely the wrong thing to do, but not the easiest thing not to do. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, this is all I can say. So, um, yeah, um, like I say, no one's perfect. Do you know what I mean? It's not a person working this half surfaces that that is. So, yeah, I do my. Sometimes it's hard, it, sometimes it's not straightforward though. Sometimes, like I say, you don't know what's from the devil and what's from God. So you can be influenced by different things without realising it, different voices and stuff. So yeah, it's not always as simple as just being obedient or disobedient. Sometimes it's like, it's confusing sometimes, do you know what I mean? It's like you get a lot of different messages, a lot of different kind of like, things pulling you in different directions so yeah it's um it's not always a hundred percent straightforward that's all i can say you don't always know what's god and what isn't the bible kind of lets you know what is and what isn't i think um but that's about the only thing that does so everything else is opinion and open to i guess manipulation and stuff so yeah um all I can say but anyway guys uh thanks for watching um yeah thanks for watching um thanks for supporting the channel and me I appreciate you all love you all keeping you all in my prayers yeah um yeah that's all I gotta say for now guys so yeah yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care. God bless. Much love and I'll be back soon.